If you were to fight, let's say Terrence Crawford, what weight would you want to fight at? 147. Terrence Crawford's the most dangerous fighter really in boxing right now by most people's estimation. What do you do to defeat him? What, what, what would you do to beat Terrence Crawford that no one has been able to do yet? Counter the speed and um, hard punches and you know strong punches and move, 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 moving around like uh, side side by side and throwing a lot of punches. Why keep fighting? Why not just show up at all these things and have everybody fawn over you? I love boxing. I miss boxing. I mean, uh, you know, boxing is really my passion. Brace yourselves for a night of unforgettable action as the boxing world gears up for the much-awaited showdown between two of the sport's most revered figures, Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford. The 147-pound division will be the battleground where these welterweight legends clash for ultimate supremacy, promising an electrifying display of boxing mastery. On one side stands the Filipino icon Manny Pacquiao, a living legend who has captivated audiences worldwide with his electrifying speed, power, and unwavering determination. Widely regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all time, Pacquiao has held world titles in eight different weight classes, etching his name indelibly in the annals of boxing history. His unwavering spirit and ability to adapt to any style have made him a formidable opponent to any fighter in the ring. Facing Pacquiao is the undefeated pound-for-pound -pound kingpin Terence Crawford, a technically gifted marvel who has dominated the welterweight division with his precision strikes, strategic brilliance, and adaptability. Crawford's boxing IQ is unmatched as he effortlessly dissects his opponent's strategies and exploits their weaknesses. His undefeated record and string of impressive victories have cemented his position as one of the most feared boxers in the world. This May's clash between Pacquiao and Crawford promises to be a clash of titans, a convergence of two distinct styles and formidable fighting spirits. Pacquiao's explosiveness and relentlessness will undoubtedly put pressure on Crawford's defense, while Crawford's technical prowess and strategic mind will test Pacquiao's ability to adapt and counter. The upcoming clash between Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford has stirred a whirlwind of excitement not only among fans, but also within the boxing community. Legendary figures in the sport, each possessing their own unique insights and perspectives, have been quick to share their thoughts on who will emerge victorious in this highly anticipated battle. Which contemporary fighter do you most enjoy watching right now? Out of the big time fighters now? Yeah. Pacquiao looks, he looks sensational. No fighter um, looks more sensational than pa the Pacquiao look. The name of fighter looked more sensational than uh, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Floyd Go Mayweather, ahead. how do I see and say Floyd Mayweather? All right, hey, hey, listen, hey, listen. Then that shows that you're a neophyte in boxing. You know nothing about boxing. No one said who was better. I said there's nobody in boxing that's fighting that it looks sensational. Sensational. The way that Pacquiao you know, did it was masterful. The side movements. And you like aggressive action fighters. Aggressive in action, yes. That was awesome. Like, throws a lot of punches. Do a lot of active, masterful. Mike Tyson is one of the most respected figures in boxing history. And his opinion carries significant weight among fans and experts alike. Ahead of the May showdown between Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford, Tyson has expressed his unwavering confidence in Pacquiao's abilities, predicting a victory for the Filipino icon. In a recent interview, Tyson acknowledged Crawford's impressive skills and unbeaten record, but he emphasized Pacquiao's unwavering determination, experience, and ability to adapt to any opponent. He highlighted Pacquiao's explosiveness and relentless aggression, which he believes will pose a serious challenge to Crawford's defense. What do you remember about knocking Pacquiao out? And what, did, what are your thoughts? Nah, I feel like right now I feel very happy. Pacquiao yeah, fought, fought very well, fought very good, and with speed, with power. Are you surprised that he's still able to be this great fighter after you know, the knockout? No, no, I'm not surprised. I, I feel great, I feel happy. Is that the greatest win for Mexican boxing ever? That win over Pacquiao, you think? Yeah, yes, uh, the, the, the Mexican fighters has a, has, has a, a great history. I, I write uh, my, my history with, uh, with, the, with the last fight with Manny Pacquiao. I feel happy for the fight, for every fight, and I feel happy for my career. Do you want another fight with Juan Manuel Marquez? It's up to the promoter, you know, I'm, I'm a fighter and my job is to fight, so 
I'm willing to fight. They eat up, give us chance again, and why not? But do you want it? Yes, of course. Uh, my, my job is to fight. Juan Manuel Marquez, a four-time world champion and Pacquiao's former rival, has also shared his thoughts on the upcoming fight, predicting a victory for the Filipino icon. In an interview with ES News Boxing, Marquez highlighted Pacquiao's explosive power, relentless aggression, and ability to adapt to different styles. He acknowledged Crawford's technical skills, but expressed doubt in the American boxer's ability to withstand Pacquiao's onslaught. Marquez's prediction is based on his personal experience fighting Pacquiao, having faced him four times over the course of their careers. During their encounters, Marquez endured Pacquiao's relentless punches and experienced the Filipino boxer's ability to adapt and find openings in his defense. Marquez's assessment adds another layer of intrigue to the May showdown. While Tyson believes Pacquiao's experience and adaptability will be key to victory, Marquez emphasizes Pacquiao's power and aggression as the deciding factors. The clash of opinions between these boxing legends reflects the uncertainty surrounding the fight and the high level of respect both fighters command in the sport. When you got him in the ring, how, how was he different than you thought? Was he faster and was there any way that he surprised you with what he did in the ring? Well, he was fast, he was strong. You know, the short steps. You know, everything that Manny Pacquiao always has been, you know, he uh, he has a lot of it uh, still left in him. The I felt like, you know, I was going to give him a pressing fight, you know, even though he knocked me down. I didn't care. I want to be in his face. I felt like he was getting a little bit tired in the later rounds, um, but he does train hard. You know, he trains hard. He kept his hands up. Um, he's He's been in so many wars that now he knows uh, what not to do. You know, he knows um, how to utilize his defense a little better. And that was a, a little bit uh, surprising to me. Ahead of the highly anticipated showdown between Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford, former welterweight champion Keith Thurman has shared his thoughts on the upcoming fight. In a recent interview with Fight Hype, Thurman echoed the sentiments of many boxing experts by predicting a victory for Pacquiao. Thurman, who faced Pacquiao in 2019, knows firsthand the Filipino icon's power and determination. He admitted that he underestimated Pacquiao's abilities and paid the price with a knockout loss. Now, he believes that Crawford will make the same mistake. Pacquiao is a master of adjustments, Thurman said. He's like a chameleon in the ring. He can adapt to any style and find a way to win. Thurman also pointed out that Crawford's aggressive style will play right into Pacquiao's hands. Pacquiao thrives on pressure, he said. He loves to fight guys who come to him and try to trade punches. Crawford is exactly that kind of fighter. While Crawford is a talented boxer with an impressive undefeated record, Thurman believes that Pacquiao's experience, power, and adaptability will be too much for him to handle. Pacquiao is a legend in the sport. Thurman said. He's been there and done it all. I think he's going to destroy Crawford. Manny Pacquiao is a better pound for pound fighter than Floyd. I sure. actually disagreed with you. Yes. And tell us why. By the way, you... I'm surprised that boxing fans, unless you're keeping for a guy, uh -huh. this is pretty straightforward. Uh -huh. Now, you could, e I said arguably, you could easily argue Floyd's side. What's that? You would lose the argument if you were arguing. You argue yeah, yeah, but guys, this isn't that hard. Okay. Let, me, let me give you an example, okay? I mean, Pacquiao wasn't able to make flyweight. He was a flyweight who won the lineal championship. So, it, so if that's not the most, or one of the two or three most impressive things in the history of boxing, the fact that he could move up, give me an example of another flyweight who was the lineal champion, moved up, won a bunch of titles in between, and then was that good as a welterweight. Pacquiao won lineal titles, indisputable, that's the man who beat the man, or, or else putting belts together. No one had ever done it before, ever. Do any of us believe that if they were the same size, naturally, Floyd would beat Pacquiao? He also has a case for greatest fighter pound for pound who ever lived. Take either for Pacquiao, take his peak. Was it at 140 pounds when he obliterated Ricky Hatton?
Miguel Cotto, and then Oscar De La Hoya, though that was at 147. Was that Pacquiao's peak? Because remember, that's when the Mayweather-Pacquiao hype actually reached fever pitch. Oh, my God. These are two of the best fighters we've ever seen. And they're both in their primes, in the same weight class, at the same time. We have to see that fight. So Pacquiao's peak was just about as good as anyone in history. Now, I'd have favored Mayweather back then. He's the naturally larger fighter. And that's the point. When you talk about pound for pound, if a fighter moves up out of his natural weight class and can still compete with the best who ever did it. Ahead of the highly anticipated showdown between Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford, boxing analyst and commentator Max Kellerman has shared his thoughts on the upcoming fight. In a recent episode of his podcast, Max on Boxing, Kellerman echoed the sentiments of many boxing experts by predicting a victory for Pacquiao and declaring him the greatest boxer of all time. Kellerman has long been a vocal advocate for Pacquiao, citing his impressive career achievements, including eight world titles across eight weight divisions, as well as his electrifying fighting style and unwavering determination. He believes that Pacquiao's all-around skill set, coupled with his experience and adaptability, makes him a formidable opponent for any fighter. In contrast, Kellerman has expressed doubts about Crawford's ability to overcome Pacquiao's strengths. While he acknowledges Crawford's technical prowess and undefeated record, he believes that Pacquiao's explosive power, relentless aggression, and ability to adapt to different styles will give him the edge in the fight. Pacquiao is a complete fighter, Kellerman said. He has power, speed, technique, and a great chin. He can adapt to any style and find a way to win. Crawford is a great fighter, but he's not on Pacquiao's level. Kellerman's prediction has drawn some criticism from Crawford's supporters, who believe that the American boxer's technical skills and strategic brilliance will give him the advantage in the fight. However, Kellerman remains confident in his assessment, citing Pacquiao's proven track record and undeniable talent. Pacquiao is the greatest of all time, Kellerman said. He's faced the best and beaten them all. Crawford is a good fighter, but he's no Pacquiao. Kellerman's comments have further fueled the anticipation surrounding the May showdown, adding another layer of intrigue to the already heated debate over who will emerge victorious. Only time will tell whether Kellerman's prediction will come true. But one thing is for sure. This fight promises to be an epic clash between two of boxing's finest. Manny Pacquiao was really, really interesting, incredibly generous. Man, I saw him, he would get a shoe shine from people and he would give them a $100 tip US. But Manny ended up spending, what did he spend? He spent about $800,000 on tickets for all of his mates to come. He brought down a private jet, like a 757, like a big jet out of the Philippines that was full with all his mates. Off the top of my head, and I can't remember the number exactly, but as he got off the plane and come into the hotel, I had to give him, it was either quarter of a million bucks or half a million million bucks Australian in folding. What, a suitcase? Like, what, no, no, no it? shit. That's exactly. A suitcase full of cash. Yeah. Manny had a guy and a person that would give tickets and cash out to people who came to the fight who were Filipino. It was like, like Little Manila. There were Filipinos everywhere because he's such a legend. 